Alright. No one plays the game anymore. Yeah, we play Smash Ultimate <laughs> Hopefully you're talking about it. Three, two, one, go! So, uh... Yeah, AB Man and J Mafia. I know they're both from Florida, but... Florida is so big, I don't like to always assume that they played each other. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't... If they are from the same part of Florida, I do know both of them attend offline tournaments. So, I would assume they're at least a little bit familiar with each other's playstyle and, yeah. and the matchup. I do know back in the day, there were quite a bit of Yoshi players in Florida specifically, too. So, Abe Man, been around the block a few times, knows what to do against this character, I would say. Yeah, but just. I don't know, just kind of deer in the matchup. It, this doesn't seem like heavily favored for any particular character, really. They just both seem like they can mess each other up really badly. Yeah. Oh, good good for the Charo pickup again, and then to turn it back on for the for the active damage frames. I think AP Man's pretty, doing a pretty good job in this matchup. Oh. Punishes, yeah, punishes the pound with up smash. He's doing a really good job of where he's trying to make sure he's always one step ahead of J-Mafia with having a projectile in play and then punishing him afterwards. I think, that, and that's probably his best bet, because if you let Yoshi get an aerial there, there's a lot that he can push forward with. It's a lot of commitment from Yoshi, so if you set Yoshi to be with punish, it's a really good exchange for you. Like this being yeah. on this being on Smashville is pretty small stage. Wow, what a oh. reversal! I talked about it like Yoshi and Luigi are two characters that if your combo is not true after a certain percent, it will always be reversal by specifically Yoshi and Luigi. It's really really well. Always notice that. Yeah. You know, jumping out of that set is pretty good for Lu uh. Yoshi, the down throw, I mean, because he gets the double jump armor if Rob tries to attack him. He can get out of a lot of rough spots. Oh, okay, he got to the legend time, but man, he's been showing that he knows how to edge guard this character. He's calling out the double jumps, calling out the air dodges to ledge. It's uh, looking really hard for J Moff, you're not gonna lie. This was looking really even at the start, but yeah, suddenly, Abit man has all the keys right here. Nope. Yeah, Everyone actually is pretty smart about mixing up up air to the ledge too. When he's recovering. Okay, down throw. There's an up air here. G Ape Man with two stocks here. J Mafia on the lining. Goals for center platform. I like it too because he sees the Ape Man still somewhat of disadvantage here. Not really much of strong disadvantage, but he's still at the ledge. So this will give J Mafia to go for center stage to continue the fight from there. Oh, that was good for him, man. No panic. I think that's what J Mafia wanted. He wanted him to burn a jump because he was afraid of the follow up here. And that's why he went for the upper. There's a down throw up tilt, looking for the upper. And it's a confirm and the stock wow. and the game. Ape it, man. That was taking smart. game one. That was smart to do the up tilt this time. Just because J Mafia, last time he got down throw, he like waited a little bit, then did just the double jump. But uh, yeah, Ape it, man. Didn't give him a chance to wait at all, so immediately confirm. Yeah. I guess Smashville isn't so bad for the way J Mafia likes to play. Just because he wants to close the gap in between Rob and Yoshi a little bit easier. More space with Rob with the you know nature of his projectiles might be a little bit too much to deal with. 
So, it makes sense for him to go back to Smashville, even though he lost. I wonder if Yoshi can use double jump armor through the arm rotor off stage. It probably the multi it probably makes it rough. For I was Yoshi gonna say to go I think that. I think most armor in this in ultimate is registered as as um as hit based as hit based armor, so that it eventually wears off after a certain threshold. I think Bowser has like one of Bowser and I think Bowser and K roll have some of the highest armors. So it's literally like impossible, but some characters like if it's a multi hit, it'll it'll go through. Not for that though, J Moffat here with the forward air. If Yoshi's down air seems like it would be really rough for Route to deal with. Like he's so big, it's like such a high chance of getting poked. And if he does get like full hits of the down air on Rob, like. It won't be difficult for him to get max damage, I would say. But just getting gelled in general is like Rob's biggest struggle against a lot of characters like Yoshi. Neutral there. Nice. nice. Lucky for the command grab here. Good for Ape Man too, you usually see him throw all these projectiles to listen to reaction from J Malfield, but also like he's aware of where he's on stage. So he doesn't want to literally overcommit if he doesn't feel it's time to. Oh. Sure not catching the pound here, Ape Man fighting for center stage. No up tilt. Ape Man okay. out immediately this time. And that's good I too. thought Ape Man was uh... I thought he was gonna go for the like grab release into the the gyro over there, but I thought so too. It. But I do like the fact that he went for up tilt. It doesn't go for up air because he realized, oh no, ah, that's rough. He needed to roll yeah. away. I I respect it too. Oh, oh, we're living though. No snipe with the laser either. What a catch too on the way back to the stage. Go for down smash. Wow, <laughs> Robert. I always, it's always strange when the raw nair from Rob just kills. But that's good for Abit, man. He didn't take any percent at all. Oh, it's huge. Still going here? Hey, J Mafia out of jumps now? No, he saved it. Still getting juggled though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things too I talked about too with some characters. You have to really watch out when you get juggled. You have to literally just go back to the ledge. And it's better to go to the ledge than to take another juggle and potentially lose a stock. We saw with Yaz and we see with Ape Man with these up airs. Yeah, what a catch. J Mafia has been disadvantaged for almost a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a good time for the Yoshi Bowl. Oh, oh please, my. Uh, Dominant. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> That's all I can say about that game. Dominant indeed. I mean, like you said, he spent so much time in disadvantage. It was really, really rough for Jay Mafia. Man, what a snipe too at the end. I think it was good too for Man knowing that, you know what, he's going to go for a high recovery. If I go for this laser, he burns an air dodge. So that will cause him to have to land on the stage or go towards the ledge. And either way, I get time to set this up. So it's still a really good advantageous spot for him to go for laser. And even if he doesn't go for laser, I think he still had gyro. So he can just cover the stage with gyro. It's literally Ape Man understanding that there are some times he doesn't need to move from his position. He just needs to have his opponents have a reaction from that position and then punish itself. Rob's a very versatile character. Yeah, definitely one of the characters even, I tell people he's like super strong offline, but really, really strong online. Yeah, even his main weaknesses are like very small in comparison to his strength. Alright, let's see though. Ape Man up 2 0. Oh. Looked very, very good in that last game. Okay, J Mafia really likes this stage. Been here quite a bit tonight. Yeah, bigger blast zones. We're gonna avoid getting juggled by Rob. Sorry, no, I'm not fucking juggled by Rob. There's more space to run around Rob as well. Having that space to avoid projectiles. Oh, 
Oh, and that's a confirm, and that's the stock. That wow. was so big for Ape Man. Just playing around that platform. <laughs> so casual about killing with that move now, with that setup. Dude, we see it like every week. It's just like, it's like a, it's another day in the office. He's not hitting with the gyro just yet, but I still like how he's using it to control space, like force uh, J Mafia to commit to jumping in some bad spots. Then he's hitting with the neutral or forward air. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first I've seen. Man, <laughs> he even met with the last second call, but it's gonna be J Mafia oh. got the better in the interaction here. Ape Man still living on almost 150 J Mafia. You have to take the stock here on 106, dude. Even with the up smash out of the shield here, but finally the back air will be the one thing that does it. J Mafia with some space to breathe. Ape Man waiting for the gyro and the cross up here with this back air. Now poking through the down air, the up air, and oh my god, this man is flying. Yeah, damn. J Mafia is just constantly being put in bad spots. Oh, roll catch. Damn. Ape Man's like, this, this character is so strong at ledge trapping. He's gotten so good at just reacting to what people do at the ledge. Yeah, it's, it's like what I said. There's just times where he just knows, like, you know what? I'd rather throw my projectiles to see what their reaction is than to me approach with my projectiles than to have, give them a chance to have a reaction. It's literally about maintaining the control on the stage, but understanding there's times you just don't need to really make the approach. It's your opponent who might just react more to you, especially with Rob when he has such a strong lead. Ape Man with two stocks lead, hey, the Jay Mafia turns it around and turns it to 11 here as he evens up the stocks. And that was a really good kill for Jay Mafia. Man, even man, these up airs is striking Yoshi's landing so well. Finally gets a decent combo, but man, not able to deal with that get up attack from the platform. Nice fear out of shield from Ava man. Okay. Oh, that up smash is so huge, dude. You think you can cross up Rob, but like, he's right there with the up smash. It just scoops you up from so far. Dang, J Mafia, he, he saw he had some opportunity, you know, get some momentum, get, make the combos happen, but overextended a little bit. 